three. And this game's come to an end. Another win here today, and we're starting to think maybe we could talk undefeated season. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, well, it is crazy, and the pressure truly does build uh, against undefeated teams. But that is a pressure that you like, and I say it to you all the time. Athletes love it when you look at them. Well, we're going to look at them, at them now. Let's see if they can go undefeated. Well, the highlight of today's game, Jim Nance, is this long, beautiful throw down the field by the quarterback. It is the play of the game, and he shows that arm strength off and also the accuracy to hit the wide receiver so he can pick up extra yards. for this NFC South battle between the Falcons and the Buccaneers. Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Bill Sims. We've got an unbeaten down on that field today. Yeah, the other team can't wait to put their first loss in that other column form, so it should be exciting. And let's check in the latest from the sidelines. Here's Danielle Bellini. I talked with the Falcons this week. This team is on an incredible winning streak, and everything seems like it's going their way. When I spoke with the players, they were so excited about the possibilities for the season. These guys are definitely the team to beat in the NFL right now. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll go to the field. Ready to step up and send this one down to the end zone. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Here comes the former Kansas State quarterback, Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman, he is one big quarterback. When you're that size, use it to your advantage. He stands in there and throws it very well down the field. Now in first down, handoff, he'll go left, picks up five. And now we'll look at the Buccaneers offense. A coach's dream a week ago as this team never turned over the football once. 
Josh Freeman will take the snap out of the gun. Second and five. Looking across the middle, he brings it in here, and he's got the first. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Gains 11. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. First down here after the completion. Doug Martin carries the football. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and four. He's looking to the right here on this throw to the 35. If you've got a defensive back that's scared to death and, and not going to give up the big play, you've got to run things like this. The out route, nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. Now, makes the move to the right, and that picks up three. And here's the Falcons' defense stacks up. This is a hungry bunch that loves to get after the quarterback, loves to post numbers when it comes to sacks and quarterback hurries. That's second down coming up. Looks to his left, and he makes the catch just past the first down marker. What a good job of the quarterback that time. He saw the defensive back inside the wide receiver, and he leads that wide receiver to the sideline on that corner route. Martin is in the backfield. First and 10. With two hands, he has it. They tackle him for a loss. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and 11. Freeman still got the football after the play fake. Under pressure and incomplete. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Third and 11. With a screen set up here. Under fire on that throw. The Buccaneers lining up for a field goal try. The kick is good. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. Tackle right at about the 28 yard line. Here's the former Boston College quarterback, Matt Ryan. What a year Matt Ryan had last year. Everybody talks about, oh, is he a franchise quarterback? I think he answered that question big time last year. He was terrific. They face first down. Ryan sells the play fake and looks downfield. Throws to the right. Oh, almost caught. Here's our look at the Falcons offense. Their rushing attack this season, nothing short of a disaster. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. Matt Ryan under center. Second and 10. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? That ball was in his hands.
after the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. He'll fire it out to the left. And that's a gain of nine. Well, a couple things on that play. Of course, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting out of trouble and throwing the football on run and getting the completion. But how about the defense? Quit being greedy. Stay in your rush lanes and don't let the quarterback get out. Jackson's got it on the handoff. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Double tight end formation. Handoff out of the eye formation. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, I like the decision that time to go for it on fourth and short. You, know, you got some big old hogs up front. They're pretty strong. So it's fourth down. Go for it. And you pick it up. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Escaping the pressure and working that left side. Half time, two minutes away. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Ryan gets it to Tony Gonzalez. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. In trouble now. Looking to the right side and throwing. He's walked. Touchdown. <laughs> Defensive backs got to know when you're playing a quarterback who can get out of trouble and he scrambles. You got to be able to adjust to the receivers. That time they didn't. That's why the quarterback got an easy touchdown throw. Makes the PAT. The Buccaneers can perhaps get the big return and do something here before halftime. They're suddenly trailing the scores seven to three. He'll take a knee in the end zone. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Buccaneers now move the chain. Josh Freeman will take a look now from under center. Incompletion on that hurried throw. Well, the quarterback's buried on the play, and he throws it in completion. And QB had no chance, Jim, that time. No chance. The offensive line just has to keep the defenders off the quarterback a little longer. Williams going to get set in the slot for this snap. The defense gets a sack. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. side and he's going to be tackled and that's going to bring us to fourth down they're in punting formation wants to give it a go here that'll stop the play right there you have to read the blocks properly as a punt returner terrible job that time that's why he got no yards Prevent defense time. First and ten. Gets away from the pressure. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field, but it's incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. 
three step drop on the run. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Looking to scramble, challenging the defenders to the right side. Could have been intercepted. Well, these are the kind of throws in the NFL, Jim. You just take for granted that if it's open, you are going to hit it. But the quarterback makes a big mistake, leads the receiver too far to the inside, and it goes incomplete. Play action, getting away from the pressure. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. That does it for the first half. Buccaneers trail in this one. The Falcons in kick return formation. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Trying to make something happen. And that'll be good for the first. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Jackson's lined up as the single back. Ryan's play action. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Falcons get a first down. Well, when you get time in the pocket against cover three, it's easy to see down the field towards the sidelines, and you get easy completions just like that last one. First and 10. Taking it right up the middle. That brings the play to an end. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. First down here after the run. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Gain of eight. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. And now they'll try over again on second down. Lions got it in the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. It's third down. And last week, this was a problematic situation for them. Scrambling out of the pocket. He's in the clear. Nowhere else to go. And he's out of bounds. Davis lined up in the slot. Now first and ten. Tony Gonzalez with the hole. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Ryan from the gun, going to take off with it. Matt Ryan with the long. Mark Barron has the interception. That will be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the point. Well, I'm sure the defensive coaches, when they saw the quarterback break out of the pocket and get away from the sack, they were disappointed, but uh, they didn't. the quarterback turned their disappointment into joy as he made a terrible decision and threw the interception. And the quarterback is taken down. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Another sack. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football, isn't it? That's what it is. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a nice play. Gets to him that time and gets the big hit. Nickel formation here for the defense. Throws to the right. Brings it in. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. That now we've got a fourth down situation. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Set up return. Here he goes. Go. 
The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation, so a good, positive run. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. Quarterback drops back, play action. They bring him down at the 41-yard line. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws him down the field for another completion. Looking to the right side and throwing. He steps out. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down following the long play. Action fake. Gets away from the pressure. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you've got to know where to throw the football. That not make a good decision you got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle the safeties are not there they're outside he did not take advantage of that coverage that time Jackson breaks free and he is tackled at the 14. nice situation here for the offense they're winning the football game now they're in the red zone let's see if they can come up with a play that pulls the defense last play before the two-minute warning back to the running back Brought down, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve a victory. First and ten. They're going to get him here for a sack. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Looking for an open. That ball has been picked off. That is for the touchdown. This satisfying defensive replay is brought to you by Snickers. Hungry for victory, Snickers satisfies. You got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. Falcons with the PAT to come. The point after try is in the books. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Smart play here, just take a knee. Offense lines up here. First and ten, eyeing that left side, sticks to his hands. Z, 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 Z. Halfway through the fourth, challenging the defenders to the right side, incomplete. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Third and two. Josh Freeman able to find Vincent Jackson. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. No one in sight has the grab. Z, 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 Z. They've got a first down now after that catch. 
throwing now to his left. That pass incomplete. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. Quarters formation here for the defense. Second down and 10. Incomplete. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you have to receive it down the field on a quarter route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. You talk about dreaming big. You got to score here, and then you need all kinds of breaks to still. Balls out. Recovery by the offense. The Buccaneers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Williams lined up now as a slot receiver. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. For only a yard. Timeout called by the defensive unit. Under center, second and nine. Left side, shakes off the tackle, brought down right at the 50. Split backfield here. Ryan standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Throws to the right. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. Should be a routine punt. Oh, it's a fake. Looking to the right side and throwing. Unstoppable. The 30, the 20. What a nice throw and catch that time, but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Running away from the pressure, looking for an open receiver on the right. Almost intercepted. will go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. He's scrambling now. Sliding to get away from the hit. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone, but there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold it. First down, offense readying for the snap. Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. The Buccaneers have really put themselves in a tough position now as they await kickoff. Scores 21 to 3. They're setting up return. Stutter step move. And the tackle is made right around the 25 yard line. First down here. The throw to the left. That pass was hurried. Well, the best thing you could say on the offensive side that time is the quarterback got rid of the football. Terrible protection. Nowhere to throw it. Just throw it away. Second and ten. Josh Freeman going down the field. Oh, that could have been intercepted, 